Tíðir klófnir Skegöld Skalmöld Skilnir klófnir Skegöld Skalmöld Skilnir klófnir Ladies, gentlemen, welcome back. And today, we are looking at two forgotten units. Now, when I say forgotten, you will still see them in battles. Every now and then someone uses it. But they're very much out of meta. And uh, so, yeah, it's Huskals and Axe Raiders um, that I've actually really been enjoying the Huskals. Axe Raiders, I can take or leave. But uh, Huskals, I've been really enjoying them just because they kind of surprise people. But they also, if you get it wrong... Uh, it goes very wrong, so it's a bit of a challenge, but uh, I don't mind using them, using them. So we're starting out with the Axe Raiders. Now in this video, we are going to look at the Vexu line. We're going to have a look at uh, the doctrines and stuff. Just before we get into fights, uh, we will bring that up and um, we'll take a look. Um, so first, we're starting the battle out with uh, just a little bit of a fight outside. But we on this in this game we use both of the units, so it's one game, both of the units, and I actually managed to get a decent game. So um, yeah, we uh, we'll get into that. Nice little hero kill there, and actually, funny enough, someone's got Huskels out here, so that was a bit rare to see. But let's get into the Axe Raiders before we get into combat right now. So first out the gates in our forgotten units is the Axe Raiders. Now back in the day, Axe Raiders were incredible like broken they're probably the most broken unit that's ever been in the game it totally wrecked the game because these guys could phase through shield walls they basically made shield walls pointless i think they can still phase but it was like how tanky they were after that so you phase them so range was no longer a thing it wasn't worth taking shields because these guys would just phase through the shields kill all the range and then still be alive to come back uh and kill everything the only thing that took these guys out was other axe raiders it was it was nuts they were so strong um but they obviously got nerfed a lot and when i say forgotten i mean you still see them every now and then with both of these units you still see them now and then but uh yeah not as much kind of a rarity um so let's look at the doctrines first doctrines wise we have a raider agility that I, is one of their unique doctrines um just for Reduce a bit of melee damage taken by 75. Probably should change this out. Uh, I haven't really touched these for a long time. So they could do with some updated doctrines. Uh, assassination doctrine. Uh, axe Raider doctrine that um, basically knocks enemies down when they get hit by your double axe throw. Uh, slashing doctrine and then a breakthrough. So nothing special really could do with some extra good doctrines in here. Moving on, we have the Vectancy line um, that... We go for the special specialty that is half and half, pretty much. Now, obviously, they got added levels back last season or the season before. We they added took all the purples up to 24. So we now go. We used to just be here, but now we get two more levels, so we get this extra 10% damage on skills. Um, but this is the way you want to write on Axe Raiders because basically none of this means anything to you here. Um, range doesn't have much health anyway, so increasing your range damage you do to range infantry um, by 30% is not really worth it. Extra speed, we get speed anyway here, so that's not great. Health is okay. Slashing defense probably means nothing. 12, so yeah. And then duration of spite is just quicker. It uh, lasts longer. And then pretty much the same story with this. The am ammunition will be good, but they already have loads. So this is your best line for Axe Raiders. Uh, and then in terms of not much defense, they have a special trait, some special traits that basically allow them to be tankier if one drops below 50. Um, so yeah, that is the Axe Raiders. So we're getting into our first engagement actually against the Huskals. So we're just going to start off with throwing axes, moving back, throwing axes. And because we have the little knockdown doctrine, that obviously helps quite a lot in sort of stunning things backwards. And those Huskals look like they're running out of energy now. So we can continue to throw just 
little uh, look back and plant them because they are aggressive. They after they throw, they do like to run in. Uh, the damage from the axe throw, it's okay. It, it'll do. Uh, but ideally you want to be axe throwing and then get to a point where you kind of thin out the herd enough to be able to send them in and just throw your axes and then, um, yeah, sort of pick up anything sort of laying in the background, just leftover units, uh, because their melee is actually really strong, um, but it is easy to get into that frame of mind where you just use them like jabs and throw and throw and throw, so, uh, and I do it a lot of the time. Um, the throw is strong, uh, but just not you might, if you're going to just throw, you might as well be taking jabs. Uh, see this guy? This guy uh, fell down, and I do the worst display of dual blades. Miss the kick, miss the butterfly, and uh, yeah, just awful. Um, but in my uh, in my defense, it's the first time I picked up butterfly in a uh, in a long time, and I forgot I don't have the dash from Skylark. So um, yeah, it's uh, it's a bit of a change for me because it's been. About two seasons I've been playing with Skylark, and now I'm heading back to Butterfly. So, um, so yeah, now we're going to pick up our Axe Raiders, and I think we're just going to have a little look around the map. Our team's doing quite a good job of keeping people back, so um, it's going to be look like we're on the wall fight now. So, luckily, Axe Raiders are pretty quick, so you can't. They do they do get around the map quite nicely. I do get kind of as a dual blade get frustrated at slow units. Um, if I can avoid taking slow units, I normally do. Um, but my idea here was to bring them up and then kind of put them on this wooden stand and then start throwing at the uh, at the units coming up the tower and, and just sort of rain axes on them. Um, but actually, if you hit people from behind with the axes, it's, uh, it's pretty high damage. It's pretty good. I mean, it's like jabs. You do high damage jabs. We're up to 15 kills now, just waiting for the cooldown on the axes again. And it looks like they're pushing in some guys going for my uh, axe raiders. So we're going to stun him and lock some, uh, throw some uh, axes at him. And now this is what I'm talking about. We're going to throw it in the middle of them there. And I probably should have gone a bit further behind them. But they are they are hitting away. They are doing some damage. Uh, in a second, I'm going to pull them out because we've got some shields here that are sort of taking over. Um, so we're going to pull them out and probably go in for another axe throw and just clear out the area that where there's one or two just inside of our units. Um, so we get rid of those, and then I see the uh, pikes at the back, and luckily when I throw, that musket throws his grenade that opens up a nice spot, and then we just put them there, and there's the damage coming in. And if you do, don't want to press anything, just let them do their their work. They're dropping off very quickly now, but we got the mooshes there. There's still, what, two left? Two or three that are actually doing something. So that's taken us up to, what, 40 kills. One left, so we'll leave him to just go off and do what he does best. Uh, and yes, yeah, so not a bad little trade-off for them. I, they, obviously, this is not meta units or anything like that. You would be better off with men at arms or whatever. But I'm getting bored of playing meta, and I'm like looking for these weird units to play. So we'll skip through this part here. Just fast forward through, and uh, now we're going to pull out the huskals um, that I had just changed to the middle line. That I'm actually kind of regretting. I think. The top line is better so if you do want to pick up huskals and have a little bit of fun and see challenge yourself to do well with huskals uh stick with top line uh, i'm definitely going to be taking mine back to top line the only thing is the stun was felt pretty good against uh men at arms because it just instantly stuns them while they're when these guys charge in but before we get into combat as we did with the axe raiders let's look at their vectancy a unit that i hated and i literally made a video saying don't get these guys when they first came out because they were awful their ai was terrible um there was just a lot of bad things they took so long to chant their, their way up to up to full and uh yeah i mean i didn't haven't really picked them up in a very long time but uh started playing with them and they're they're fun i'm having a good time with them as you'll see in the video um in terms of doctrines nothing special again haven't really done too much i changed one of these for the video but apart from that not much just a defense doctrine 80 piercing defense 80 slashing uh and then we've got an iron damage because you want these guys to do as much damage on the hit as possible uh we have an epic sword doctrine one extra 70 slashing damage and blunt damage that's great breakthrough normal breakthrough doctrine and then the huskale raider um doctrine that is kind of mandatory if you're going to make these guys work so Get yourself this if you want to play Huskals. Uh, and then into Vetline. I used to play top Vetline um, to basically when they hit reduce the uh, target's defense. 
Um, but uh, I've decided to change to bottom just to give it a try. So all the clips in this video are from the bottom line. I just like the idea that the slow and then once you stack four slows up, they get stunned for a second. I don't know if this is actually better than the top line, but um, yeah. It's uh, it's an interesting one. Uh, the stun is pretty nice, but again, you get uh, immediately removes from the target and one extra round of damage is dealt that I think chasing that up, potentially the top line is actually better still, but I've been enjoying the one, one second stun. I'd probably say stick with top line, but the one second stun is always nice, so, uh, and bottom line is totally useless. In terms of stats, 12,000 health, not much. Really quite nice piercing, good slashing. It's okay, blunt. Um, so, yeah, that is my Huskels. Let's get into it. Yeah, as I said, I changed I changed the vet line, but I, I'm regretting it. We're regretting it now. But um, nonetheless, the issues you can have with these guys uh, are major, realistically. Their AI is a little bit buggy. They can suddenly all run off in one direction or the or the wrong direction. Um, but when it goes right, it feels very, very good. Like, if you can get them to do the right thing, they are so much fun. And the burst they do, they could just suddenly wipe 30 units. It's just, it's quite, uh, it's quite nice. The, the issue that I have with these, uh, another issue, there's so many I have with them, but they're just fun and challenging to use, so... Uh, is that's why I've been enjoying them. But one of the issues I have is if you look at um, if you look at things like claymores. Claymores have their own problems of their own, but their buffs that they do affect every unit around them. Uh, where these guys, when they're chanting, only affect Norse units. That is a nice theory, but no one's using Norse units, so I really think they should change that when these guys are chanting. You know. They do it. We find a, uh, a big clump here and we charge them. And that's what I mean when it goes right. We just absolutely slam into the back of them. Um, it's, uh, yeah. It's pretty nice. The thing is, with this, first and second charge, fine. Don't even bother with the third. Try and get them out of there. The third and the fourth. The fourth is called Boar Snout or something like that. And that's just terrible. Don't bother with that. And the last one is just not that great. If you have to use it, use it. But take, try and get them out there and get uh, let that thing drop off and then re uh, recharge them up. Um, again, they're doing a buff. This chant should be doing a buff to everyone, but it doesn't. Uh, so we get them in here, and oh, just a lovely little uh, little slam in there. And I only go for the one charge. I move them out of there now, and we've actually maintained a full stack that is uh, that's surprising. Uh, but as you can see, they're all getting stuck on stuff. Their AI is just weird. How they get stuck stuck on walls, and they just kind of run weirdly. Um, but for some reason, I find it really endearing. Uh, we'll skip through this while we're getting them healed up and stuff like that. And uh, then we'll bring them back and we'll get into engagement. And unfortunately, it is the last engagement. But uh, because we, we we bite off slightly more than we can chew, unfortunately. But um, I think, yeah, it was, it was a bad decision. But still, it ended up being a good game. Uh, at this point, we're now just waiting for them to finish whatever they're doing after they've captured A. And, uh, yeah, I was kind of sad that this was the last engagement. I really wanted to hold these out. I had these guys for a long time, and it was a it was a stupid move. I kind of was, like, getting overconfident with how strong these guys were, and I saw all these units down here, and I was like, oh, I wonder if a fully charged could do it. So make sure you don't do this, and what you want to do is keep them uh, in a group with other people and basically surpri surprise people. One other unit should be fine. Uh, and yeah, unfortunately, we just charged straight into Zweihanders and Maidens, so that sort of spells the end very, very quickly. Um, but nonetheless, a nice hit, a really, really nice hit. Um, so yeah, they're my two secret units. Not saying they're 
the best units in the world or anything like that. Um, they're just a bit of fun. A bit of fun and sometimes nice to challenge yourself and just not play all the meta units every single second of playing CB. Um, when we can actually play CB because obviously its servers are struggling at the moment um, from recent events. But, yeah. I had this one left here. I thought I'd fully charge him and send him in. So we're currently charging him up. Last Huskell left. He's chanting away and we're just going to plonk him in and see what he does. And actually, quite a lot of damage in one hit. Takes us to 100 kills. And here are the scores on the doors at the end. So we win that fight. Managed to get MVP somehow. And uh, if we go to units here, we got three heroes and 53 units and 400 kill score. So that's nice with those. And then Axe Raiders, we've got 35. That, again, not huge scores, but um, just a fun, interesting unit to use uh, when you're doing a random siege. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.